In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create circular arrays and assign modifiers or materials to many objects at once. I am very pleased to announce that I'm now on Patreon, so if you are interested in perks like exclusive posts or you would like to support me, the link will be in the description. Now let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do both of these things in both vanilla and with add-ons. So the first thing I'm going to show you is creating the circular arrays in vanilla. So the first thing you want to do is create an empty. So I'm going to go and add a plane axis. So what this will do is act as our origin for our array. Now the next thing you want to do is go to your cube or whatever you're arraying and go to the modifiers panel and add a displace modifier. So now what you want to do is change the direction to Y or X, that's up to you. And now you can adjust the strength. So what this does is artificially moves the cube, but its origin point will stay here. And at any point we can move this value. All right, so now what you want to do is add an array. So you want to uncheck relative, we don't need that, but we do need object offset. So check that and expand it and now use the eyedropper to select the empty. Alright, so now I'm going to up the count to about 8 I think will be alright. And now the last thing we have to do is rotate our empty. So I'm going to hit 7 to go to the top view and I'm going to hit R to rotate, Z to lock it to the Z axis and rotate it round. Now you can hold shift to rotate it more precisely and click and there we go but there's actually a faster way we can do it and that's with add-ons so I'm going to delete this and now empty and re-add a cube so the add-on that I'm going to use for this is called HardOps so HardOps is a hard surface toolkit for Blender and let me tell you it is amazing this is just one of the many things HardOps can do so I'm going to hit Q and go into the Mesh Tools menu and you can see we've got a ton of stuff here but we're going to use the Radial Array and now just like that I make, can make an array with just two clicks. How cool is that? Alright so now let's say I wanted to edit one of these individually so I'm going to go and apply all the modifiers and in edit mode I'm going to hit P to separate them and hit by loose parts so now I can choose whichever one I want to edit so I'm going to use box cutter which is another premium add-on which goes excellently with hard ops and is made by the same people so I'm just going to go and cut this out here and do an inset boolean alright there we go so now let's say I wanted to add a bevel modifier so I'm going to go and add a bevel and I'll adjust the amount and up the segments and I'll also turn on harden normals so that took a little while in itself but what if I wanted all of these uh, cubes to have a bevel well that would take far too long to go and edit manually so what we can do instead is shift select all of these cubes and select the cube that has the modifier applied on it last so you'll see it's orange now what you can do is hit Control L on your keyboard and we can make a link. So you can use this technique for materials or whatever you want really but I'm going to click modifiers and you'll see all the other cubes get uh, the bevel modifier applied to them. Once again we can do this even quicker with hard ops so I'm going to undo that. So with them all selected you can just bevel it uh, straight away. So I'll hit uh, shift Q and bevel and you'll see we can bevel them all at once. If you would like to purchase either HardOps, box cutter, or both there is an affiliate link in the description. What this means is that I get a small cut of the money at no extra cost to you so you can support me at the same time. I have been using these add-ons for ages and I can guarantee once you use them you'll be working so fast you will wish you bought them earlier. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Definitely consider checking out HardOps and BoxCutter if you want to save precious time while you're working. And another reminder that I am now on Patreon. So if you'd like to support me, the link is in the description. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to like the video, subscribe and drop a comment below for more and I will see you in the next video.